Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to go back into this ZBrush model that I started of a bat kind of creature. I had started to export and try to create a model for 3D printing. But as most people know, you have to have it watertight or have it pretty clean for geometry. And there are problems sometimes you'll run into when creating these meshes. I created a boolean of this model and I decimated it. But what I found out is that it wasn't watertight. So how do we figure this out? How do we figure out if it's not watertight or if you have errors? Uh, one way to do it is you're going to go into Z plugin and we'll go ahead and dock this to the side. And there's one main one that I use that helps me uh, right away to see if there's anything and it's this 3d hub go ahead and point this out 3d hub right here and there's another area that you can use check mesh integrity both of these are kind of bounce back and forth one of them will work sometimes uh, the mesh fix mesh and every now and then, every now and then it doesn't work so what do you do so these are places that I start. Let's go ahead and open the 3D print hub here and I'll show you. So what you're going to want to do is click check mesh volume here and we'll go ahead and highlight this so that we keep it, kind of keep it up in memory and then we'll circle this area too so that you kind of get an idea of where I'm going with this so check mesh volume if I click it it's gonna give you an error if it's not watertight or if you have errors in your model the current tool is not a solid exclamation point <laughs> and cannot compute volume so let's press ok so what we're gonna do is go to check mesh integrity and let's turn this off so we can see Mesh integrity test completed success. I had cleaned it up previously, and let's go ahead and jump down two more notches. Let's see, mm, about here. Let's go a little bit further. We have to go back a little ways, but that's okay okay and this is the original error that I had the mesh contains one edge edges that are shared by more than two polygons so that means that there's something going on what you can do is choose to fix the mesh and that's what I did I fixed it <clears throat> hoping that that would work so check mesh and now it's completed success but when I go back to the check volume it's not a solid so what's going on here um, sometimes you'll have floating geometry that's inside of your mesh that'll just be just floating geometry and it kind of creates a little bit of error uh, one way I found this geometry is you know you can go to we're gonna go to our auto groups sometimes this will give it enough to group the odd polygons and we can try to isolate this and given that you can now see there's something here this is one way to kind of pinpoint where your problem areas are but if I didn't know I would I could go around this other method and that would be to create a cube And then we can subtract this cube out from there. So now what we could do is look at the mesh at different points. And given that the problem area was a little ways back, I, I had an idea after I did it. But even this area, this little pocket could be a problem or it might be okay, but it didn't give me any errors as far as that. 
going back. As long as the resin can drip out from these little pockets, I'm okay with that. And that's where that tongue kind of went. But what you can see right here, where that error, where the problem areas are, uh, go back up here and turn this off. You can see where this problem was. What happened when I built the model I pressed I pressed the tongue area down too low so what you'll see if I push this model back is that this geometry intersects and it actually goes below it and that's what's going on here and giving me not air for not a, a watertight mesh so this is one way to kind of get an idea of what's going on if you're having problems in your model. Scale this up. We can kind of go down, kind of like how 3D slicers go about uh, showing the mesh and you can actually kind of get an idea of what would work. But right there is my problem area. Now this is an older tip from other videos I've seen and other people who've shown 3D printing and 3D process in ways. But the one thing that helps me is doing the auto groups. Going into auto groups and separating separating out a model because if you have a very complicated model, it's gonna be very hard to find two little vertices in so many so many little points if you're doing this and I've had a model where I just couldn't find it until I had to break it down and do the slice and go about it a different way and found it that way and I just saw that the, it was bad triangulation in the geometry that was folded back in itself but hopefully this kind of gives you an idea it's it's just a short video I really wanted to show what you could do to find problem areas and once this area is fixed and solved um, I'm, I'm gonna have to go back to the main model but I'm gonna pull it back up and clean it up but once it's solved it's usually exporting as an STL as a watertight mesh and that is most of how I find errors in a model when trying to export as an STL as a watertight mesh if you're just gonna do a render, you probably never will encounter this problem as far as needing it watertight. But once you start doing 3D printing, you're gonna realize I need to I need to be a little more cautious about how uh, things intersect and how things are built. So, it's just a short video. Uh, like I said, I, I, this is something that make you <laughs> would make you go crazy if you're in here and trying to find how like where these errors are and it just I've I've gone back and forth just trying to figure it out kind of like an etch-a-sketch where you just keep shaking it and trying to get something a little bit every time and I've found this method to work a little bit better uh, over time or just just kind of keeping an eye out for where problems are problem areas arrive so thank you for watching I uh, hope this is informative I wanted to make it short and sweet so thanks again